Well, we got our corn head put back together. We're gonna let the silicone set up on the oil bath, which is really getting old after the third oil bath we've had to take apart this year. We're going to go set up our auger and our wagon set up to transfer corn from the dryer bin to the holding bin, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, you'll see, I'll explain it once we get started. Once we get that done, we'll come back over here, put oil in the oil bath, and maybe pick some corn. Hi Sadie. Hi. So we have to get the corn from this bin over to this bin. And how we do that is, since we have this upright unload, is we park a wagon right here, we take that auger, we set it up under the wagon, and we shoot it up into that bin. Piece of cake. That's what we gotta do to transfer corn. Um, eventually, we'd love to either put in a shivers or a top dry and another grain bin and just have everything self-contained. But these are uh, my great grandma's bins. She owns the farm right now. So we just kinda have to work with what we've got. But eventually, we'd love to put up a little bit nicer system. I'm gonna run home, grab a bite to eat, and let the dogs out. And then we're gonna go over back to grandpa's and pick a little bit of corn there. Um, I would hope that our oil bath should be set up by then. We can put oil in it, but we don't really have time to wait. Got about 100 acres left, 120-ish maybe, and there's a rain snow mix coming tomorrow. Sunday, I don't know, I'd rather not work on Sunday. Monday, we've gotta haul our seed beans out, and then there's another chance of rain on Tuesday. So we've gotta hustle if we wanna get done by Tuesday, so. Yeah, that's what's going on. Well, Dad's back at home transferring corn. I'm gonna throw some oil in the corn head oil bath and uh, I'll get started here. Make sure everything's working right. Make sure we got all the bolts put back in where they need to be. Make sure we didn't miss anything. And uh, after that, we got Dylan coming out to run the auger cart. So I'll have Grandpa jump in the combine. I can haul, Dylan can cart. And whenever Dad's done transferring, uh, he'll come out and we'll uh, decide what we want to do from there. We really would prefer to let this sit overnight and let the silicone set up, but we just don't have time with this rain coming and only 120 acres left. So we're gonna push it and if it doesn't seal, we'll just have to take both of them back apart and reseal them. The other side didn't seal good last time I had to seal it, so we'll have to tear that one apart anyway, but really getting old, taking this apart and cleaning it all up you would have thought that in 1994, which is when this head was built, they could have come up with a better way to seal that other than silicone. Because you take it apart, you fix everything, you seal it back up, and then you gotta wait. And it's not really convenient to be waiting when you're farming. Well, let's get things fired up here. See if anything flies apart. That outside row that went bad. I can see both chains are moving, so that's a good sign. I'm going to throttle up here. Everything sounds good. Let's go dive into some corn and see what happens. 
So I can't remember if I explained it or not, but we had trouble with that uh, the cross auger right there. We had trouble with that getting stopped up if it was damp at all or if the stalks were tough. So we ended up while we were while we had that oil bath apart, we took that clutch out and we replaced the spring and added a second washer to make that spring tighter. We're actually thinking that we were missing a gasket and it was getting oil on it and making it slick so it would slip easier. But we figured while we're in there, we might as well add another washer. We've actually heard of people doing that and they said that seemed to help. So hopefully that solved the problem on that slip clutch. Everything seems to be working as it should. So we had a half inch of rain yesterday, roughly. So it might be a little bit stickier out here. It was already kind of sticky out here last time, but it might be a little bit worse today. I don't know what our plan is, if we're just gonna finish the day out here or move back over to Dad's and start filling up that dryer bin again. I guess I'll just wait for him to get here and see what he thinks. So for now, we're just gonna work on this. Well, the corn head's working fine, but it is really muddy out there. I don't know how much of this we'll be able to do, but um, I'm going to go, I'm going to back the truck in the field, I'm going to go over there along the ditch, there's a ditch at the south end of this field, um, it should be fine along the ditch, I'll work my way this way and see if that's a little better. That first pass I made, I think I cut tracks from one end to the other, so we might have to do something different. See if it's any better down here. like it is right here along this ditch we won't have any trouble this uh, this is the first part of the field to drain since it's right next to the ditch so it's usually never really wet but it kind of drops off into the field and I'm thinking it's probably all gonna be pretty muddy but I think we're just gonna have to fight through it because we really really want to get done it's November 22nd 3rd something like that it's time to be done through the middle and see how wet it is over on this side of the field. Hopefully it's not too bad. Well, I'm about halfway through. So far it's not too terrible, which I don't have a full combine yet. I think if we can uh, work our way to the halfway point, try and keep the combine empty, try and keep the auger cart somewhat empty, it might be all right. But I guess we'll just have to keep going. I really hate running up fields like this because like I said, I want to switch over to no-till, but now, but now we're just going to have to uh, end up doing some sort of tillage, whether it's just a disc or a chisel plow or something, which really stinks, but it just it is what it is. We've got some fields that I think we can try out some no-till and BT stuff on, but uh, as a whole, we're going to have to wait another year. Well, Grandpa's here to take my place in the combine. I'm going to go dump the truck. 
I guess I'll drive the new truck. What the heck? Well, Dad took the new truck back. I guess he wanted to use it. That's all right, I like this one too. You guys like how this truck sounds anyway, so it's a little better for YouTube. to get one maybe two more loads into that elevator they close at five it's about quarter after four right now uh, I gotta call dad and see if he wants me to go to another elevator that's open till six after we get that done and see what the plan is after we get this you know figured out I don't think I'll ever be a fan of this time change thing. It's only five o'clock and it's dark outside. Well, Grandpa looks like he's got the cart loaded. We're gonna put that on the truck and I'll take it over to St. Anne. They're open till six. And I'll see what Dad wants to do. He, I don't know if he got that bin emptied out or not. He, uh, we had more in the dryer bin than we had in the holding bin. So he was gonna try and haul the rest out before the elevator closed. I don't know if he'll get it or not, but Hopefully he did, and we can start on that other field again tonight. just a little bit left in the dryer bin I'm gonna dump it in the back of this hopper that way we can dolly it down we don't really like to dolly trailers loaded because that's a good way to uh, break a dolly or just have them sink in the sand we don't have any uh, we don't have any concrete to park them on so we try to just not dolly them loaded 
if that makes sense. Well, we're on the move. It's about quarter to seven, and we're gonna get things moving. We're gonna dive back into that field across the ditch and uh, load up that dryer bin again tonight. We'll probably put five or 6,000 bushels in there. And they're, like I said, calling for rain tomorrow, so we have to run while we can. We don't really like to run at night if we don't have to, but I'd say tonight we have to. Well, here we go. It really got cold outside. The uh, snoots of the corn header frosted up already. That should be a pretty good test of our slip clutch for the auger because last time we tried to open this up about dark and the corn was kind of frosty and damp and that's what plugged my auger. So hopefully it goes a lot better than it did last time. Before I left, I checked all of our gathering chains because uh, that snow was really hard on them. We ran these last year. We normally, just depending on the conditions, we'll run them one or two years. If we have a good year where there's no down corn, we'll run them an extra year, which last year wasn't bad. And we're kind of wishing we would have just replaced them, um, you know, at the beginning of the season. But we're thinking that snow was really hard on them, and they are stretched out way past where they should be. And uh, we've been having trouble with them. We got them all tightened back up. We had to replace one or two of them but um, we are really hoping that they get through till the end of the season we only got about 90 acres left uh, we really don't want to have to put new chains on now good so far we've got just about one truck load across my fingers I haven't had any trouble with that auger slipping um, I've been kind of trying to push it a little bit to see what it'll do and it's handled everything I've thrown at it so far so knock on wood I think we got that finally fixed that was getting frustrating well dad got the semi stuck Told you we'd try and get something stuck for YouTube. I didn't think it'd take us this long. We'll go check it out, see if they can get it. got it out. If that was a Ford, it wouldn't have done it. Man, it is, it got really cold outside. I don't know what it is, but it's got to be in the 20s. Oh, it's just about 10 o'clock. We're 
going to uh, finish loading the auger cart and the trucks up for the morning. We got about a, we got about as much done here as we wanted to. Um, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. It says rain or snow. I guess it just depends on how cold it is. If we get some snow, if it's not too terrible, we'll be able to run. Um, if it's rain, though, we probably won't be able to do much. So. I guess we'll just have to see what happens. I'm really getting tired. I'm not used to working this late. Thankfully, my wonderful wife, Maria, brought dinner for me and Dylan, so isn't she the best? She also brought me some coffee. That helped me stay awake. But uh, we're gonna wrap things up here. Just I just about got the cart loaded, so I guess we'll just end this here. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.